subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in developing SQL data models. So let's get started. Question number 1. You deploy a tabular data model to an instance of Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. The model uses an in-memory cache to store and query data. The dataset is already the same size as the available RAM on the server. Data volumes are likely to continue to increase rapidly. Your data model contains multiple calculated tables. The data model must begin processing each day at 2 and processing should be complete by 4 the same day. You observe that the data processing operation often does not complete before 7. This is adversely affecting team members. You need to improve the performance. Solution. Change the storage mode for the data model to direct query. Does this the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option A. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 2. You deploy a tabular data model to an instance of Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. The model uses an in-memory cache to store and query data. The dataset is already the same size as the available RAM on the server. Data volumes are likely to continue to increase rapidly. Your data model contains multiple calculated tables. The data model must begin processing each day at 2, and processing should be complete by 4 the same day. You observe that the data processing operation often does not complete before 7. This is adversely affecting team members. You need to improve the performance. Solution. Install solid state disk drives to store the tabular data model. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 3. You deploy a tabular data model to an instance of Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. The model uses an in-memory cache to store and query data. The dataset is already the same size as the available RAM on the server. Data volumes are likely to continue to increase rapidly. Your data model contains multiple calculated tables. The data model must begin processing each day at 2 and processing should be complete by 4 the same day. You observe that the data processing operation often does not complete before 7. This is adversely affecting team members. You need to improve the performance. Solution. Enable buffer cache extensions. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 4. A company has an e-commerce website. When a customer places an order, information about the transaction is inserted into tables in a Microsoft SQL Server relational database named OLTP1. The company has a SQL Server Analysis Services instance that is configured to use tabular mode. SAS uses data from OLTP1 to populate a data model. Sales analysts build reports based on the SAS model. Reports must be able to access data as soon as it is available in the relational database. You need to configure and deploy an analysis services project to the analysis services instance that allows near real-time data source access. Solution. In the deployment option property for the report, you set the query mode to in memory. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option B. Question number 5. A company has an e-commerce website. When a customer places an order, information about the transaction is inserted into tables in a Microsoft SQL Server relational database named OLTP1. The company has a SQL Server Analysis Services instance that is configured to use tabular mode. SAS uses data from OLTP1 to populate a data model. Sales analysts build reports based on the SAS model. Reports must be able to access data as soon as it is available in the relational database. 
you need to configure and deploy an analysis services project to the analysis services instance that allows near real-time data source access. Solution. In the deployment option property for the report, you set the query mode to direct query within memory. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option A. Question number 6, a company has an e-commerce website. When a customer places an order, information about the transaction is inserted into tables in a Microsoft SQL Server relational database named OLTP1. The company has a SQL Server Analysis Services instance that is configured to use tabular mode. SAS uses data from OLTP to populate a data model. Sales analysts build reports based on the SAS model. Reports must be able to access data as soon as it is available in the relational database. You need to configure and deploy an Analysis Services project to the Analysis Services instance that allows near real-time data source access. Solution: In the Deployment Option property for the report, you set the query mode to in-memory with direct query. Does the solution meet the goal? Your options are A. Yes B. No The correct answer is, option B. Question number 7. What property do you set for each measure to improve the legibility of values in a client application? Your options are A. Data type B. Measure expression C. Aggregate function D. Format string The correct answer is, option D. Question number 8. Which of the following object types do you add to the cube? Your options are A. Calculated measure B. Calculated member set C. Static named set D. Dynamic named set The correct answer is, option D. Question number 9. How do you support the profit percentage in your solution design? Your options are A. Add a fact table column and set the format string for the new measure to percent. B. Create a calculated measure to divide profit by revenue. C. Add a new measure group to the cube to isolate the measure. D. Define the measure expression property on a new measure to divide profit by revenue. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 10. Which is the easiest option for configuring and maintaining security for each salesperson? Your options are A. Create a role for each salesperson with a row filter restricting the user to a specific sales territory in the direct sales table. B. Create one role for the salesperson group with row filter on the direct sales table that uses the custom data function. C. Create a one role for the salesperson group with a row filter on the direct sales table that uses the contains and username functions to find the user's sales territory in the salesperson table. D. Create a permissions table, add it to the tabular model, and define a relationship between it and the direct sales table. The correct answer is, option C. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.